I have seen anyone run in a long time. I was gonna kind of trot. <laughs> Full T, I'm just watching Will as the, as the countdown's going. Just run back I into the room. My water. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, bonjour et bienvenue à la Cap, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the T in reality usually. And today mm -hmm. we will. I don't know why I said the usually today. It's not a Eurovision video. We're not doing Eurovision or wrestling. But we're all, it's, uh, come here to quench your thirst. It's been a long fucking week. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm still Logan Murphy, say something gay. Gay, we are drinking water, but we're not only drinking water, we're drinking cucumber lime water because Ooh. I decided to be a fancy bitch today and I bought uh, tiny cucumbers the other day. And I was like, I need to use these tiny cucumbers. And I'm the the Minervic and Diva of New York with Justice. Um, earlier, I was literally drinking um, both of the Rosalia Cokes because we were supposed to do España, but you know, <laughs> I, was wow, drinking, I, I was drinking as usual. I was drinking as usual in this Kelly K mug, um, but we also have water because hydration is important, and also because I ran to get this bottle of water as this countdown was going. Literally. <laughs> well, we have two episodes of Drag Race Belgique to talk about. The last two episodes before the finale. We were talking prior to going to recording this. This season just feels like a fever dream. It does. I had high hopes we saw for this promo, but then she hit the fan. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll talk about it because it's. It's been wild, but we are we are starting with episode six. We come back into the workroom. Who the fuck went home? We lost Valencia. Valenciaga. Oh, Valenciaga. It was after a very goofy snatch game. A very goofy snatch game. Goofy, goofy snatch game. Goofy. goofy. Um, yes, Valenciaga uh, departed. I was very sad that they left us. Me too. It was their time. As much as I as much as I enjoy them, it, it was their time. The judges weren't, you know, featuring them. So at the end of the day, I wish we had an overhaul of the judges next season because um it's not giving. Like yeah. next season we should switch over to maybe a Dutch side of Belgium, maybe. Maybe a Vanessa Van Cartier. Which we'll talk about next week. I'm so excited. I saw her and I said, Mother is on the panel today. It's a like Mother, mother. <laughs> is here, thank God. Um, but yes, so we walk back into the workroom the next day. It is top five. We have a mini challenge where they have to, they bring in a whole bunch of pit crew. I said, oh, hello, all the pit crew. And I was like, thank you for the tiniest little sliver of body diversity. I appreciated it. A sliver. A I crumb. I will be submitting my application for pit crew soon. Don't worry, y'all. Yes, bitch. You better. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wish. No, you better. You fucking better. Why not? A bunch, a bunch of people were literally saying, like, oh my god, hashtag will for pit crew. And I've been living. Like, one of my mutuals, they, like, made a whole, like, not to go on a tangent, but they made, like, a whole list of, like, mutuals who would definitely be for the pit crew because... Oh, that was... Um, of... Gary. Mix Gary. Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Love them down. Um, Love them. Host of Dragula Spaces, by the way. But other than that, um, we have a small little sliver of biodiversity in the pit crew, and we need more. So we need more than just that one person on Belgique. We need more than just Mina Gerges on Mina Gerges, Gerges on Canada. We need more. We need more. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed, agreed, agreed. But um, so they we bring a pit crew, and it's a good old matching game as they like to do on these kinds of things. But mm -hmm. um, you have to match with TV personalities um, who, from Belgium. Um, yeah. I did not know a single one of these people. 
But as soon as I saw that they were the people in the mini challenge, I was like, okay, so this is who we're making over. And then we get the we get the end of the mini challenge. Peach wins. Okay. Yes, who Peach. Who even were these celebrities? I'm trying to look up the list now. Um, I believe they're all either like media personalities, journalists. Like that was kind of the realm that they all came from. I see no list of who these celebrities are, and I'm going to go back. So I'm looking them up through Instagram. Um, they're all listed in the Instagram, like the comment or the, um, mm -hmm. descriptions of the Instagram posts. And I'll talk about it when we get to whoever, um, when we get to the runway looks, but, all right. um, yeah. So Peach wins. We find out the maxi challenge is the makeover. Uh, we got two makeovers in that one week. It was two makeovers in a snatch game. And I said, oh boy. This is going to be a lot. Oh Lord. It's going to be a lot. Um, but yeah, so we're making over Belgian TV personalities, work diva. I don't know who any of these people are. It's they very, all seem lovely. Yeah, it's very much like a celebrity drag race meets, um, make up your mind meets, no son una señora, all of meets, that. I'm a celebrity, get, out, get me out of here. Meets mass singer, mass dancer, meets celebrity big brother hosted by Divina McCall. Well, they, oh, no, um, Davina did do a little bit of celebrity in UK. Okay. But Host, hosted by Jesus Lady. Let's, Emma Willis. Emma Icon Willis. legend Emma Willis. Hopefully BB UK returning hosted by AJ Odudu. That would be great. That's just my personal hope. Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're making over people. Not a whole lot of workroom stuff happens other than Luffy comes into the workroom to give critique, and there's like three different people that want to do a clown idea. Why clowns. Are, clowns. Is, clowns. Is this, is this a celebrity makeover, or are we doing a live action version of JoJo Circus? Well, and then the other thing that interested me, and I don't know how you feel about it, so they made it very evident in this episode that the runway was supposed to be mother and daughter. Yes. It was mother, daughter. There was no way around it. It didn't matter what your ages were. It was mother, daughter. Where normally in these makeover challenges, it's drag family, family. Emphasis on family. So it, it don't could matter be... what you are in the family. Exactly. And so I feel like that honestly kind of bottlenecked a few people. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. Specifically... Athena um, almost changed her entire concept in the workroom because they go to Boop at one point and Boop is like, well, I'm going to do this like thing. We're going to be sisters. And Rita's like, but it's not mother and daughter. It's not mother and daughter. Okay, it's but mother. was your makeover mother and daughter, Rita? No, because you made your makeover look like shit, Rita Baga. They all wanted to do clowns. And who did this at? They all wanted to do clowns. They all wanted to ask you to read a bag of clown legacy. Literally, I'm like, why are we all doing clowns? Yeah. Clowns. Clowns. As much, again, as much as I love JoJo Circus Down, that was one of my favorite uh, shows on Playhouse Disney. Sure. Why are we doing clowns? I don't we know. We already have Bianca Del Rio. We already have... <sighs> Jimbo. We already have season one Jimbo, because... Uh, Canada Drag Race season one Jimbo, correct, yes. You know, the um, same Jimbo that gave us that iconic um, pussy dropping Joan Rivers. Anyways. Pussy dropping Joan Rivers. <laughs> this, this is my final act. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody get me my coffin. <laughs> That's okay. still one of my favorite Satch games ever. It's one of my favorite. And then we haven't even brought up Bobo as Liza. Don't you yes! talk about my mother. Don't you talk about my husband, Harry Hamlin. <laughs> I really want to go through at some point and do a walk video do on Lisa. favorite Satch games. I want to do favorite Satch games. Me too. So I can talk um, about... Your mother and I invented the Snatch game. Anyways, back to Rita Baga. <laughs> back to Rita Baga. And I, so they go to Athena, and Athena has this concept, which she ends up doing, and we'll talk about the concept, but she's like, we're doing sisters. And I was so thankful for her, make, for her makeover. Um, Lara. Lara is her name. 
Uh Um, Athena's makeover partner. And she's like, well, Athena had told me this story about how, you know, when she was younger, she wasn't able to like express herself like that. So why don't we flip this story? And Athena becomes the mother. And honestly, Lara is the reason that this whole challenge was saved for Athena. And I loved it. I was like, thank Mm -hmm. you, Lara. This is great. Come back next season as a guest judge. Like, Mm -hmm. I would like to see it. Um, but yeah, so they're doing, they're doing the makeover things, makeover things. I didn't have anything else to talk about other than the looks from this episode. So yeah. Shall we just go there? Shall we go yes. for it? We're not in Shall Canada. We We're not in Canada or Switzerland, but it's okay. Um, well, France! France! Let's see, how does it look? Oh, we are big. Oh, shit. You're big. <laughs> A big girl. Where? Here we go. That's better. There we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah, because why are we blocking Sandra? We cannot block Sandra, Kim, who, okay, I have to, uh, Will Justice, I have to call you out in this podcast because earlier in this day when we were speaking, uh, the individual known as Will Justice said, oh, that woman, Sandra Kim, how dare you disrespect the name of Sandra Kim, the only Belgian winner in of the Eurovision time. Song Contest, in when she time. who won when she was thirteen, making her the youngest Eurovision winner ever. Audience, this has been a great time. Um, this is my retirement. <laughs> it's okay. This is my final act. This is my final act. <laughs> We need to do a Sakin video. Let's talk about it in the Discord. Other than Please. that, um, I would like to make my public apology to Sandra <coughs> Kim and Sandra Kim Hive. Um, this is a very lovely lady. I need to get into her music, and I should not be disrespecting an icon and a legend such as her. My Thank apologies you. to Sandra Kim. And then on top of that, it's like we already had like plenty of Eurovision representation in both Belgique and um, oh. Sfarie. Like. We've had too much of your representation, so my mind got jumbo, like mumbo jumbo, um, jumbled, whatever. My apologies to Sandra yeah. Kim. Um, so yeah, so we have Sandra Kim, icon, legend, diva of the moment. Um, and then, and then, this, then is, this is who I call Swedish Danny Beard. This is David Jean Mott, who I would like to. So I would like to point out that on his IMDb page. It says he is known for Melting Pot Cafe from 2007, Le Grand uh-huh. Cactus from 2015, and Drag Race Belgique. Oh, um, well, oh, oh no. So he, so he oh, is no. a. He, yeah, was so Eurovi- he, he was in Eurovision in that one place that doesn't exist. What place that doesn't exist? Tel Aviv. Oh, did he compete? Let me look. He can English. Um, Belgium? Let me check. Professional career. I'm on his Wikipedia page now, too. Work, okay. Because I saw that Because I saw that on his IMDb page, he appeared in Eurovision Tel Aviv 2019. Oh. Anyways. No. Um. Oh, he's Sandra Kim's makeup artist. Now I get it. Oh. And he was it. a... And in 2019, he was um, a part of the jury for Miss Belgium. Oh, he was a juror work. Okay. And appointed spokesperson for Belgique at Eurovision. Oh, so he was the jury. Okay, he was the jury spokesperson. Cool. He seemed lovely. Yeah. It's the Lickley fan for me. But my one issue is the ponytail not matching the scalp color, which seems to be a big issue this season. Yeah. And then we have Rita and this look. Oh, this is the worst Rita has looked this season. Oh, Lord. And I also think this is the best Luffy has looked all season. <laughs> um, Rita Baga has committed to not serving at all on this runway. No, I will say a lot of her looks have been really good. Mm-hmm. I have not been mad at a lot of her looks. If it's for her. For her. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like how some of Ruru's garments haven't been the best this season. 
Even what all that money for BK. Zaldi, Zaldi's running out of ideas. Either Zaldi's running out of ideas or Zaldi got the boot and somebody else took over. You never know. Anyways, um, let's, let's Sandra Kim these. looks amazing. Sandra Kim is an icon and she looks beautiful. And I thought, um, I thought David was wearing heels for a second. Oh my god. Not I love the Lick Me fan. Luffy looks right. good for once. And the twink when, there. When will Boosty wear a shirt where his nipples are not exposed? He wants to be Javi Calvo so bad. I, I, Honestly, he does. You want to be Javi Calvo so badly. It's not going to work. No, baby, no. And you know what else didn't work for the judges? Peach. Uh, this is Peach mm -hmm. and Melo Pili, a.k.a. Um, Olivier Frippon. Oh, so that's the one named after the awards? That the awards are named after? No. Olivier? No. Oh. No, this is just another random man named Olivier. Wow. I like this. The inches are cute, I guess. Is that Amanda's wig from week one? No, it's more full. Oh. I said what I said. Mm -hmm. But well, you have a blessed night, as will I. I, I. I I enjoyed this. I think they both look really good. I think I both silhouettes it. are good. I like the cape that Peach has. I like the shorter hair. I like about the shoes. Oh, the shoe. The shoe. Wow. Wow. <sighs> but no, I didn't think this was bad by any means of the imagination. However, it's like top five and they have to nitpick, so. It's top five and they didn't want Peach going to top four. Yeah, so. Boop still made it this far. Mm, we'll talk about Boop. Um... Yeah, they, they had a specific reference they were making. Sandra got the reference, and I appreciated that, because she's an icon. Maybe so. Sandra should be a permanent person on the panel. Could you imagine? She would be great to help out there in the girl group challenge next season. That would be great. That would be great. Um, You want to give a score, Will? Yeah. Um, This is going to get a 75 for me. It's also going to be a 75 for me. I like the little mini Mouse pattern, I guess. It's cute. It's supposed to be like a regional pattern, color pattern, whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know it. Sorry, I'm not Belgian. Um, but yeah, they look good. Mm -hmm. so. Next, we have Susan and Mirel, uh, a.k.a. David Watele. Auntie, what is this? Oh. Auntie, auntie, auntie. At least Mirai is wearing a full shoe. Mm -hmm. That is a four inch heel, I believe. It was four inches. Trust. What? What is this Hannah Montana skirt? I don't know. So, so Susan was wearing the like dressing gown and the silver gown the whole time. And then all of the clothes that are in her hand are what her daughter was wearing mm -hmm. originally. Mm -hmm. And then the daughter's like, I don't want to dress like this. I'm going to dress like this. It looks like a 2000s pop star that people would have loved on Radio <coughs> Disney. Yeah, this looks like a failed Radio Disney star. <laughs> you know, this is somebody who got like maybe fifth on Next Big Thing. When she right. Lost out to, like, when she lost out to Chloe and Halle. Yeah. Uh, Honestly, yeah. Um, um for some reason Auntie Miss Susan Fun Grinder is giving um I did not see that coming, giving like psychic-ish, very much like why am I why am I going with these Disney references? I don't she, know. She looks like somebody that could have been like one of the psychics that Raven was fighting on That's a Raven or something like that. Yeah. What I found interesting is that Luffy going through the workroom was like, maybe you should make your makeup a little bit older because you're supposed to be a mother. And Susan's like, hey, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and then she gets red for it on the runway. And I'm like, that's not her makeup style. She still looks like a mother. She kind of looks like a mother, though. She styled herself well enough, but I still don't like either of the looks. Yeah. 
I don't know. I just, I felt like Luffy throughout this entire episode just felt so confusing to me. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't understand anything that you're really doing. I don't get it. Luffy is confu- has been confusing me the entire season. Um, the only thing I like is like, she's like, bye bye. Hi. Literally. Oh, wow. Yeah. You'll never be mother. Yeah. Scores. 64. I'm going to give this a 70. Mm -hmm. Um, Next up, we have Mademoiselle Boop and uh, Carrie Boop, a.k.a. a.k.a. Tamara Payne. I see we got Spy versus Spy. Um, and of course we got Miss the other boop um in in a plat in in a wedge in a plat uh-huh. a platform wedge and not a Skechers wedge like Phoebe Robinson wanted. Um, no. Oh Lord. No. I'm already pleading. I. Yeah. I feel like it, it, it's been boops time since week two. Let's be real. Not since week two. I, mm, I don't like how boop has been doing this season personally. Except for Sakim, of course. You know, she was very goofy in her goofy, own way. The goofiest. Goofy. We need a super cut of all of us. Goofy, Luffy, goofy. Luffy being goofy. <laughs> Is Luffy really goofy? Goofy. Um, no, I this just wasn't good. They had to change their entire idea because Boop was originally gonna do like a marionette situation, which I honestly thought would have been really cute. <laughs> it would have been cute. And, and then Luffy was just out here being the saboteur, being like, Well, Luffy, a how sapper? are you gonna match makeup tones? And I'm like, it's really easy. Victor White. Literally, she's pale. Both of them are pale. They look like the white out that Ben De La Cream used to wipe Kennedy's name out to use to write hers. Literally. Yeah, I just the makeup on Carrie also was just a little bit too harsh for what this was. Let me just it's, get on Luffy real quick. I'm please. sorry, Logan. Go Lucy, for it, honey. Aside from the brand deals you get from probably like the the Belgique version of Fashion Nova and the Belgique version of um, Shein and Charlotte LaRue's, um, what do you know about fashion? What do you know about fashion besides all these IG model influencer s looks? Have you given us a gown? Have you given us something that looks su- something straight out of the catalog of Jeshuan Laponte? Like, what do you know about fashion, Luffy? What do you know about fashion, Luffy? Aside from like styles that we've seen on Addison Ray and all them other fashion girlies, like do you like have you have you been styled by Laura? Have you been styled by Bragovski? Like, what do you know about fashion, Luffy? Well, Luffy, you was the inner saboteur of Boop, and I kind of feel bad. I, I feel bad for Boop a little because it's like the marionette idea would have been cute. It could, it would have given other mother. Yeah. But. Unfortunately, this is what they executed. Um, you said you're pleading. What, what what's your score gonna be? Because I could change. I might change my plea. Like a thirty. I'm gonna be generous and give her a twelve. <clears throat> That's fair. I've been coughing too. It's been bad. I don't know what it is, but girl, Next... I got season allergies. Oh, me too. All right. Oh, me too. Next is Athena Sorgeli Keys and Artemis Sorgeli Keys, aka Lara Bell Rose. Artemis looks beautiful. This was the best, hands mm-hmm. down. I love no the ribbon question. detail on the shoe. The shoe is shoeing. Mm-hmm. I love it. It. This is one of my favorite makeovers I've seen in a really long time. The story was so cute. Lada coming in and kind of revamping this story and really like bringing Athena's confidence back up was something that I really, really love to see. Mm-hmm. Um, both of them look great. 
Artemis really sold the story here on the runway. Athena looks gorgeous as she always does. Period. I love now that. When, now when Artemis ends up on All Stars, um, do you think she'll be able to be um, the likes of Wintergreen, Porosity Colby, um, Michaela Katua? Um, Who else is there? Um, oh. Um, oh no, what was her name? Um, Capricia Corn. <laughs> Capricia Corn. No, Vanquisha the House. No way. Vanquisha the House. Vanquisha the House. Um, house. Um, who Coco else is there? Teeny. Short um, change. Short change. Who the fuck um, else? Um, oh, who else is there? Baby um, Bad. Um, Baby Bad. Lil Smacky oh, Cox. Oh no, we have to include um, Taramisu. Taramisu. <gasps> Mother. Mother, Mother Janet no, the not ta- not not Teramisu. Janet the Planet. Janet the motherfucking planet herself. She can Mother be on the Janet. Too. Can Janet the Planet? Wait, okay, hold on. I'm going on a U.S. rant again, but now I need a permanent woman guest judge spot that just rotates between T.S. Madison, Lonnie Love, Nicole Byer, Leslie Jones, Ali Wong, Wong. Uh, Haley Kyoko, and Janet the Planet. <laughs> They each get two episodes a season. <laughs> uh, anyway, my cup is overflowing. Uh, uh, Athena looks amazing. It's overflowing. They were very goofy as well. They were very goofy. The goofy. Well, they're Greek. She's Greek, so. Greek? This Greek. Um, yes. Anyway, last up is Quen. Uh, this is Drag Quen and Drag Jackie Van Piperzel. I think Jackie Van Piperzel and Athen- and Artemis or Gelakis will definitely beat um, Fontana Monsoon. Yes. Which, soon. yes. I like the book. And yeah. at least they were... I'm sorry, Logan. I'm really no, 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 go ahead, babe. Go ahead. No, you can go ahead. I lost my train of thought. Oh, you're good. I was going to say, this is uh, Stefan Pidbouf. Mm-hmm. I like saying his last name. Pidbouf. Bidboof? Bidboof? A dragonfly. <laughs> a dragonfly. Uh, no, I really think... Um, I really think Quen did a really good job here. Like, this is how you do circus correct. And I was I'm very shocked, impressed. I'm shocked Rita wasn't getting PTSD from this. Well, that's because her clown makeover wasn't good. Mm-hmm. So, but no, I love the way it turned out. The makeup is so good. It's so classic Quen in the best possible way. I loved the story, the balloon, the balloon, the balloons. And I don't know what the shoe is. So I'm going to say the balloons. Yeah. Uh, You can barely see the shoes. Yeah. They had the reveal during the little performance thing that they had to do. I thought that was cute. Mm-hmm. Like, it all went together, and they they sold it really well. So, yeah, I was a fan. My cup is full for this. My cup is also full. For sure. Um, so we get our... Results. Results. Is this where... Did they do Who Should Go Home and Why? Um, no, 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 anyway, um, we find out that the winner of this week's maxi challenge is Athena, correct, it was a top two of Athena Segalakis and Quen, which is, I let's be honest, that's the top two of the season, yeah, it's gonna be the top two of the season, but whatever, um, we get a bottom two, of Peach and Boop. Did well, you agree? I kind of... I don't agree. I don't the bottom. I think it should have been Susan, honestly. And Susan would have said Boop home. Exactly. Um, Susan yeah. has not been doing well, sadly. And I like mm. Susan from Grindr. Yeah. It really honestly feels like... And we'll talk about the top three, but it really feels more like a top two. Unfortunately, but uh, Peach and Boop lip sync to iconic Eurovision winning song, Jamais Jamais in the V. 
Jam is jam in the V. It was a great lip sync. <coughs> they both did a really, I really enjoyed this lip sync. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Neither one of them was doing too much, but they matched the energy of the song. Sandra was living her best life, and I love it. Um, yeah, I thought this was really good. I think it could have gone either way. However, I, I do think we all know that the judges were trying to send Peach home. So Peach went home. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. in, an, in an unfortunate lip sync accident, uh, Peach was eliminated from Drag Race Belgique. Robbed fifth place queen. Mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed Peach this whole season. She joins One the of, of Lemon. Um, who else got eliminated at fifth during the makeover? Katia. Yeah. Not during a makeover. Not during a makeover. No way. She ends up in the fan favorite, robbed fifth place as Katia Zamalikova. Limon, lemon. Go ahead, Logan. Uh, Listen to Pan this, I forgot. Pandora, Pandora Box. Yes. Vandela Creme. Angina. Angina. Um, Jenny Jack Hay. Poor K. The second time. Um, who got fifth on that one? Vanity Milan. No, not my mother. Um, who else is there? I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think. Simultaneously, Angeria, Bosco, and oh, Diabetti. So um, Olivia Lux. Jackie Cox, sadly. Jackie Cox. Well, no. No, 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 no. Heidi in Closet, sadly. Heidi in Closet, thank you. Um, um, Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. Um, Who else is there? Who's this? Um, oh, um, Blue Hydrangea. Blue Hydrangea. The Miss Congeniality of her season. Who was fifth on that on season two? Um, fifth on season two. Oh, oh never her. mind. Never mind. Um, um, Pixie Polite. Pixie Polite. Um, who is fifth on La Big Berta? La Big Berta, no. Mother um, Jerry, oh, I how did we forget Jerry? Um, Dovima, ew, no, not that horse face, bitch. No. Anyway, anyway, I'm really sad to see Peach go. I really I'm hope sad. we get to see Peach on a and future simultane season, way and simultaneously, Vanda Misaki. <gasps> oh, I forgot Vanda got, yeah, Vanda got fifth. Well, tied for fifth, tied for fifth with Bandit. Oh, both of them, yeah. But I, I do really hope we get to see Peach on a future, like, now that now that really the floodgates are open and we're getting so many international queens coming back on the Drag Race. International. International. I really do hope that we get to see Peach on a future season of, like, a Versus the World or something. Um, because I really think she is very talented. She's very funny. Her looks this entire season have been killing it. And overall, she is a very, very talented queen. Now that also, and then on top of that, also, this fan yet recently eliminated Queen. I think I'm gonna let see her on the rest of the world too. Um, on a RuPaul judge, all stars. Could you imagine such a thing? But Peach is gone. Rip. And we're gonna move on to episode seven, which yeah. is the queenly monologues. Mm hmm. This so, is very, it's very much the stand up thing from UK Fuller. I wouldn't even say this is necessarily stand up, really. I would, I would equate this more to the graduation speeches from All Star Seven, when Money's pick fell, Ooh. and Jada forgot all of her words. My um, poor mother. So we come in to the workroom, uh, top four. We get a mini challenge where it's it's the good old classic: get into Dragon Darkness, Lord. How many times have we seen this? Uh, two or three recently. Because I know they did it on hashtag that season of Italia. They did it on Sferie like two weeks ago. Yeah. Hold on for a so, second. You're good. Yeah, they've done it a lot um, in the past couple of like yeah. seasons at this point. It's become a staple. Yeah. This one was not good. No. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, in episode six, 
uh, for winning the maxi challenge, Athena doesn't get money or anything. She just gets two tickets to Eurovision. So you're telling me that you're probably going to meet Athena Sergelikis at Eurovision? I'm not going to Eurovision. Who's going to Eurovision? I was like, who from the cup is going to Eurovision? Because that's uh, something I need to ask. Uh, Aerith, Lewis, and uh, Sam. So Aerith, Lewis, and Anissa are all going to meet Athena Sergelikis. And I'm... Well, I don't know. Because I don't remember when this season was filmed. So it may have been... The previous Eurovision Euro last Euro. year. Mm -hmm. I hope it's this year's Eurovision because Belgium has a homosexual uh, representing them. So I hope mm -hmm. uh, we are rooting for Daddy in a Hat Gustav. Mm -hmm. um, we are rooting for Gustav. <coughs> I have but, not tapped in, but I will be rooting for Gustav no matter what. And Lazada yeah. has done well as well. Oh, oh don't even get me started on France. Go check out our Eurovision coverage where I did discuss La France. La France! 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 Um, yes. So, they have to do their they have to do their makeup in the dark. Boop wins. Did Boop really win? Um, I guess. I don't knows? know anymore. Who knows? It's um, a curse at this point now. Honestly. Yeah, so we get the maxi challenge, which is to write and deliver an inspiring and humorous speech given as if they were the Queen of Belgium. I thought mm -hmm. this was an interesting challenge. I think it's very, you know, it's very Belgique. Belgique? Um, this is not really a challenge you could do on most other places. I think um, you could do it in Holland if you're trying to be like Queen of Holland. Well, they did that. They did the Rusical for the Queen, remember? Maxima the Rusical. Yeah. And that didn't turn out very good. No, because but... they had a double save when it should have been a double chop. Well, both of them should have gone home a long time ago, but whatever. Um, just That's have the finale a... Just have the finale be Envy and Jackie. It's fine. Or Janie. It's fine. It's fine. It's Anyways. Fine. Um, so we see very quickly... That we have some struggle bussers. Mm -hmm. We see that uh, Susan is struggling a little bit. Boop mm -hmm. is struggling a little bit. Athena is struggling a little bit. And guess what? Quen also struggling a little bit. Ooh, everyone's struggling. And this is a weird challenge. So I understand the struggle. Like, this is not like a challenge you would necessarily expect to be on Drag Race. The struggle is real. The struggle is real for all of them. Um, but yeah, maybe, it maybe was. I thought this would have been good. I know. Um, they get some goofy crit uh, critique and uh, um, time to spend with Rita Bega, the goofy, goofy, goofy Rita. Um, and you know, everyone's struggling, struggles on struggles on struggles. So. Were you struggling? Because I'm struggling. I mean, then again, Rita did struggle as well in her comedy challenge, I guess. Actually, no, yeah. her, her her comedy thing was just fucking forgettable. Yeah. I mean, even if you're dealing with, like, the likes of the Reverend Doctor soaking up Megan Hatch, uh -huh. Mother Victoria Scone. Yeah. But, um... I don't really have anything else to bring up other than the challenge on the runway, so... Let's get on to the runway. Oh, But first, oh, yeah. the challenge. I did... These are pulled from uh, the Instagram. Oh, that blocks out uh, someone. So we're going to go back to this one. Poor MTV. Um, but yes, so we have uh, Susan, we have Boop, we have Athena, and we have Quen. This is not the order they went in, because the order they went in was... Boop, Susan, Athena, Quen. Um, huh. I honestly didn't really care for any of them. If I'm being honest, I didn't care for this challenge. I had to skip through. I was like, what the fuck is this? No it one just... wins. Y'all all lip sync. No, there was a clear winner. Yeah, you're right. And we'll talk about winner. it. We sure will. Boops just was like boring and like whatever. Susan tried to come. Susan tried to come from this place of like doing, um, like middle class. The first this, the first that. Like there's so many firsts, 
And I did think that was a cute sort of way to approach it. Um, Athena tripped up. This is the first time we've really seen Athena struggle. Oh, no. At all. Um, She messed up a little bit. She, you know, it wasn't cleanly executed. And then Quen, I loved... That Quen kind of did the little hand puppet thing with the with the trumpeter. Like this is like giving you Ubi. Literally, no, T. Fully that. And you like juxtapose it against this like really powerful message where it's like, my people are being suppressed. Fuck off, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I thought it was a really powerful sort of message. Um I thought they all looked fine. Boops, I think, is my least favorite of the outfits. Yeah. And I don't like Susan's either. Mm-mm. What is this wig? What is the what is Quen's wig? I when I saw when I saw um oh my god, when I saw Susan walk up, I was like, is that KB? Oh my god, not this. Y- y'all JB no. y'all. <laughs> Saying cooey. Oh god. Cooey. Lord Jesus, give us drink. Um, any other thoughts, Will? Um it was interesting. Um, um I love the trend I love the trend alert of a bunch of people showing up with their scalps and clip on ponytails that they got off of Amazon. Uh-huh. Very that. Very that uh runway runway to the runway category is glamour and nocle zoots so i i'm gonna presume it's like it seems like beachwear but like mm-hmm. fancy beachwear this category confused me i'm not belgian so i didn't know what it was but first yeah. up boop boop it's fine it's okay it's fine. I mean, the garment is well constructed. She's giving like oil spill, sea creature, boom, shakak, shakak, boom. Boom. Yeah, it not my favorite. Yeah. But she looks fine. I think the makeup is good. It's not the best, but it ain't the worst. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of exactly how I feel. But um, I'm going to give Boop a 75. Same. My Boop. Susan, I fucking love this. <laughs> and I don't, care. I don't care if it doesn't fit the category according to Luffy. I don't really care. Shut Honestly, up, Luffy! I, I fucking love this. This is so Susan. <laughs> And I feel like the judges, specifically Luffy, just doesn't understand. Luffy is jealous of her boogie. Ooh, not jealous of her boogie. You know, Susan is very goofy. And I don't think Susan is very goofy. Luffy is not goofy. Luffy, you are not goofy. Uh, I love this, though. The the fucking birds... (laughs) The glitter blood, you like it what? all is just. It so kind of good. reminds me of bedtime stories a little bit from Madonna. A little what? bit, no, what? I completely agree. <laughs> Acid Betty. It's giving very much. I'm pregnant with birds hanging off my belly. Oh my god! Getting ate the fuck out by Naomi Smalls. <laughs> that part. Um, the only thing I didn't love was whatever was happening on the head. I couldn't tell whether it was like bird poop or something else. That I just, I didn't love it. Is that an egg on her head? Like, oh, how is that what it's it? supposed? I, I don't know, I don't know how what that it is. is. I don't know. That's like the only thing I dislike, honestly. Either way, I just don't know what it is. There's birds on there. Ah! That part. That's- uh, I'm gonna. I'm giving Susan a 95. Same. Work. 95. Um. Is the which one is? <laughs> they're, they're this, is this is Quen. This is Quen. Yeah, that's Gwen. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Like I, mm-hmm. I, there's nothing bad to say about this garment. The shoe. The shoe. I love this shoe. I 
fucking love this shoe. We've seen this shoe one too many times on other queens, but I don't give a fuck. I love a clear shoe like this. Oh. It kind of reminds I, me of like the girls that would do burlesque or whatever. Yeah, the clear pleaser with just the rope up the leg. Like, I love it. I she was going for very, like, yeah, she was going for a very, like, siren sort of situation. The only thing I didn't love, and I think it was actually Luffy, Luffy, who is not Goofy, brought it up. Or it might have been Rita. Um, there's a little bit of, like, um, bunching in the in the midsection. It didn't fit her all that well. Um, but the face is to die for. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Lord Jesus. Um, I'm going to give this a 90. This is going to be a 95 for me. Work. And last up, Athena. I enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. This looks like it will fit with Condor Bank and Tour from the Weather Ball. Yeah. Yeah, I love the I love the nude illusion. I love all of the detail that's happening on the train. The rope was a nice detail. The face is good. It's all good. Mm-hmm. Um, I love this color on her as well. I love it. It's it's really spectacularly done. Um, I'm gonna give her a ninety five. I'm also give her an I'm gonna give her a ninety six. That's fair and valid. Um, well, that was that. Um, we go to results, and Quen is our winner. Yay. Rightly so. And I honestly, in my heart of hearts, thought they were going to put Susan in the bottom. I really did. I was like, I feel like they're going to save Boop again. I thought it was going to be a bottom three lip sync. I you know, kind like how it, You know, kind of like how in España won, it was Carmen winning as usual, killing the girls as usual. Cuando tu vas, yo tengo de ahí. One of my favorite lip syncs of all time. And then Truly. you have to do it a split after the other two girls did. One or two last split. Ah! Split. Yeah. I think I love the Gigas panel. They're all hot so and good. goofy and very talented. Hot and goofy. <laughs> um, but we do not get a bottom three lip sync. Susan is declared safe, which I agree with. I agree. And our bottom two is Athena and Medicine. Oh, but it was correct. Well, they lip sync to guest judge Leo's song Le Banana Split, which you can also see done on the top four episode, actually, conveniently, of Drag Race France, season one. Um, this was a good lip sync. It was. Now, do I prefer it to Paloma and that other one? I do. I. I think it was equally on the same playing field, I guess. Yeah. However, Athena ate her up. Athena ate her up. Athena did what she needed to do to make it to the finale. I'm like, Athena, beat her. Uh, Athena, whip her ass. Be her. Get Literally. her. Literally. Um, and she did. And so Mademoiselle Boop is eliminated mm-hmm. in fourth place. And we have a top three of Athena, Quen, and Susan. Uh, If you look at track records, this is where it gets really interesting. So Mm -hmm. Athena has done pretty well this season. She has two wins, no high placements. A low placement, and she was just in the bottom. And she was just in the bottom. Whereas Susan is power bottoming this season with three lows and a bottom two placement. And one win and one high and then you have Quen, who Ooh. has never placed below safe. She is definitely going to be up there with one of the best track records for sure. Mm-hmm. Three wins, two highs, two safes. She put a Bianca um, Bellino. She she kind of Bianca she Bianca she Carmen she, she envied. Mm-hmm. We'll just see if she wins. I honestly don't know. I think. As much as I personally love Susan, I really do think this is a two horse race. I think Susan's between gonna Athena get cut. And I think it's, I think Susan's yeah. gonna get cut before the final lip sync. I agree completely. Kind of like how back I did. And honestly, between Athena and Quen, 
I couldn't tell you, honestly. It's a fair fight. I think if if we're going off what we know, and we know that, you know, season ones of franchises tend to crown someone who's a little bit more palatable, uh, then I think they may give it to Athena. More, yeah, like who is the most palatable out of the top three? Because we've seen Priyanka was the most Susan. Popular. Honestly, it's Susan, but... Mm-hmm. They're not going to give it to Susan. Everyone in the top three of Canada 1 was palatable. Um, everyone in the top three of UK 1 was palatable. Um, um, Thailand, it, that's a whole different season. Um, España, it was Carmen's no matter what. Let's be real. Yeah. And for Fra- France! Yeah. Who was more palatable out of those three? Paloma. Wow. Yeah. And then at, and then down under Kitta duh. Yeah. So Pal- uh, yeah. We, we shall see. We have a top, top three. three. Personally, I'm seeing Judy T, obviously. As we can see here. I'm team Mokabone. Mokabone? <laughs> um, not forgotten. That part. But we'll be back next week to talk about the finale. Darkest Belgique, the first franchise to finish this year. Yay. Um, I'm Vanessa Vecca's yay, finally. Vanessa! I love it. I'm so thrilled. I'm so excited. The first Miss Continental to win Drag Race. And after her will be Sasha Colby. I was going to say the only one currently. Currently. But for now. Knows? For two more weeks. We got two weeks. So... With that, thank you for joining us for Drag Race Belgique. We'll be back next week. Make sure to subscribe, like, share. Check out all of our Drag Race content and all of our other content as well. Uh, Merch link in the description below. And cheers, well. Cheers. Woo. Bye-bye. Jemmy, Jemmy, the V. Jemmy, Jemmy, the V. No, I'm done.